Hi, and welcome to this PowerShell quick tip video. In this quick tip video, we'll actually be looking at the get history and invoke history commandlets in PowerShell. Uh, so you can use these in PowerShell 5.1 or PowerShell 7 as well. And it's probably more likely useful to be using it when you are using PowerShell in a console. So if you're maybe managing a server remotely that is like a headless, so no GUI, or even if it does have GUI, if you are someone that manages their server mostly through PowerShell, instead of going through the actual GUI methods, this is going to be a very good commandlet to know. Um, it basically allows you to look back at all your previous commands and rerun any command that you so choose to. Very similar to the history command in Linux. So let's go ahead and let's get started here. So I have this blank, um, fresh PowerShell 7 window here. So if we do a get dash history, we will see that there is nothing right now. Uh, so let's actually just go ahead and let's clear the screen here. And we are just going to do a few different commands here. So I'm just going to do a get child item on my CPAP here. I'm going to do a test connection uh, to Google's IP here. Uh, let's just keep going. And I'm just going to actually shrink this a little bit here. So it actually looks a little bit better on the screen, I think. And uh, let's go ahead and let's do a write output. And let's just do testing here. I'm going to do a get process, get service. All right, so we have executed quite a bunch of different commands here. And let's just say I accidentally do a clear screen and I don't remember what was that one command that I ran. We can actually do a get dash history here. And here is a list of commands that I've ran. And you can actually even see how long that it took that command to execute. Um, so here, let's actually go ahead and let's rerun the, the fifth one here, which is just the right output. So to actually do that, we can actually just call a invoke dash history. And then you can either do a dash ID parameter and then put five. And that'll work. It'll give you the command that it's running and then the output of that. Or if you want to just do invoke history and then put five here, that will work as well. So you can do it two different ways. And you can, of course, always do a get history and do a pipe that to where command line is like maybe you sort of remember the the command that you wanted to run let's say i'm gonna get the history where the command line is like and then i'm just putting some wild cards here so two stars so as long as it has the word connection i should get that back here so if we actually run that we actually get the one time that we ran the test connection. We still have the idea of four. So all I could do is just invoke history and then put four here. And that will actually work. So there is quite a lot of power on here. Now, again, this is not super useful in your scripting. Um, so if you're creating scripts, get history really won't help you that much. Uh, but definitely if you are managing remote servers, like if you're doing some PS session and you're just managing a remote server, or if you're actually going on that server and just managing that server itself, just getting the list of history uh, commands that you've actually ran. Uh, maybe you have to rerun something or you don't quite remember what you ran and maybe you want to run it on a different machine. You can get the history and you can see exactly what you ran and then you can go ahead and run it on that other machine. And you can use the invoke history to easily rerun a command. So hopefully that helps you guys with some getting maybe some historical data on what commands you ran in that session and be able to rerun them. If you have any comments or questions on this video, or if you have a commandlet that you would like me to make a video on, please let me know in the comment section. I will do my best to do every single commandlet that you guys ask for. 
Um, again, depending on the environment that is required for that command line, I will do my best to do every single one. And if you guys have any um, other PowerShell questions or anything that you guys would like me to cover, please let me know in the comment section as well. I'm just trying to get some ideas for some videos that you guys would actually enjoy best. Uh, this way you guys get the best content for you guys. And it's kind of a little bit tailored to what you guys are doing maybe at the moment at work or for your personal uh, home labs or just your personal learning as well. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, also hit that notification bell to be notified when that next video comes out. And I will see you guys on the next video.